28-year-old Annalise Mabe can't live without Humira to treat her Crohn's disease, a debilitating intestinal condition. It's really life or death. Just a year ago, I was hospitalized due to complications from Crohn's. Moderate to severe Crohn's disease. Heavily marketed on television, Humira has a list price of more than $2,400 per dose. In the United States, that is. In Europe, you can get Humira for much less. In the UK, for example, it is one-sixth the price. Why the difference? We have a system here in the United States where you can keep filing the same pattern over and over and over again, even if it's rejected by the patent office, and it becomes a war of attrition. So is this a deliberate attempt to stifle competition? Absolutely. Absolutely. Attorney Tahir Amin runs IMAC, an organization crusading against what he calls patent abuse. They found the top 12 grossing drugs in the U.S. each average 125 patent applications. This is the most egregious example. This drug alone has the most patents out of all of them. Humira's original patent protection expired in 2016, but drug maker AbbVie has filed 247 patents on the drug, meaning while cheaper similar versions are now available in Europe, here in the U.S., Humira is still the only option. A vice president for AbbVie promoting its lawyer's success in preserving exclusivity on a recent investment call, saying, you've seen us execute very nicely with our legal strategy. While the company has dropped the price of Humira in Europe, here in the U.S., it has more than doubled since 2012. In a statement to NBC News, AbbVie says our discoveries have led to Humira's approval for 10 serious diseases. Patents encourage and reward the significant investment we've made. And we are focused on balancing the need for continued investment in the next generation of medicines, while also ensuring affordability and access for our patients today. You do need investment. You do need to make a certain amount of it. But at what point is enough? Annalise says she's lucky her medication is covered, but... We've got to find a way to make it less expensive for people. Especially since other countries are doing just that. Now, Lester, several drug companies have sued for the right to bring cheaper versions to the market. Most have settled, though, agreeing to wait four more years. But there's still one company fighting to introduce a less expensive drug right away. All right, Kristen, thank you. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.